Hey guys, so today is the second vlog since I've been diagnosed with heart failure and I was gonna try to do a daily vlog, still gonna try. Don't know that'll happen. I think probably every other day at this point um, might be enough for me just because I'm, I woke up today. Today is May 1st, Wednesday. Uh, I am so weak. Um, but I did for the first time since I've been home from the hospital on Saturday, I did get out of the house today. So um, Lisa took me out to lunch and that was very nice. We have a moonroof in our car and she had it open and it felt so good to have the sun shining on my head and my face and just, I don't know, it kind of made me feel pretty alive. So as you can see, my energy level is still way, way low. As soon as we got home from lunch, uh, actually, Raptor Mama was so sweet. She had gotten us a rotisserie chicken, which I haven't had any yet, but I'm going to have some in a little bit. I don't have much of an appetite this evening. Um, just feeling so exhausted. Like, I feel like it would be too exhausting to eat at this point. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably be able to eat a little something later. Right now, I just took my pills. But have you guys had this stuff? This is Martinelli's apple juice and... I have a hard time taking pills, but this stuff is great. And I try not to drink too much sugar, um, but oh my gosh, it's so good. The other thing I've really been enjoying is the La Croix, if I'm saying that right. Uh, we'll just say La Croix. Let's put it in English. The La Croix sparkling water is so, so good. I don't get paid to, t to say any of this, obviously, but um, it's, you know, I've been drinking a lot of like bottled water. Um, I prefer the spring water. But, um, you know, definitely it's so important right now to stay hydrated. And, you know, I'm trying to walk around as much as possible. I walked a good bit considering today uh, when we went out to eat. So I just, I feel like I am taking so many medications because normally whenever I have to deal with something, being sick or whatever, the most I have to take is, is like an antibiotic. So, and I don't even like doing that. Honestly, I'll, I'll usually take natural supplements like colloidal silver, or, you know, the acicillium that come in the little um, tubes. Like, it's all natural stuff. I don't like to take medications. Let me tell you what they have me on, just in case you guys are dealing with the same thing. I'm curious what you're taking um, and if it's helping. And honestly, at this point, I don't know if it's helping yet because it's still so early in my recovery process. Now, I don't know that I'm going to pronounce these correctly. This one is called Entresto. So that one I have to take twice a day. This one is called Carvedilol. This one is called Spironolactone. And this one is Furosemide. The first two I take twice a day. Second two I take once a day. And then they also gave me some Xanax to keep me Usa. Um. I haven't been taking the Xanax regularly or anything because I really don't, it's not something that I want to feel like I have to rely on. I'm just trying to keep myself, you know, a little bit zen uh, when I can. A little bit zen when I can. Um, but, you know, it's good to know that I have it if I need it. If I start feeling stressed out, I will take one. Um, but so far, I've only taken two since I've been home from the hospital. So that's a good thing. So I'm curious if any of you guys who have experienced this whole heart failure situation have taken also supplements. Now, I did finally get a doctor's appointment. I'm excited. I got a doctor's appointment with the general practitioner. Um, she's actually a nurse practitioner. I'm seeing her next Thursday, and I'm looking forward to it because my mom has a friend. Basically, she was in the same situation with 15% heart function. And crazy thing, she found this nurse practitioner who was in the exact same situation as her and as I am. So I, I don't know the cause of her um, cardiac decline, but I do know that she is functioning very well now, if not at 100%. Um, so, you know, definitely going to be somebody good for me to talk to and get some insight and, you know, take some advice from. Hopefully, uh, you know, if I'm not on the right medication, she can get me there. And I'm really looking forward to this appointment because the following week, we have a fun travel um, adventure situation coming up. And, you know, Lisa's like, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be ready. And I'm like, Lisa, you don't understand. 
I need something to look forward to. Give me this. Like, this is going to help push me to the next level. And, like, y'all don't understand. Like, if I can't be a content creator, if I can't travel and go play with all these animals, like, what else is there? Like, that's what my life consists of. That's my happy place. And, you know, a lot of you who already watch the channel, you guys know this. This is, this is me. This, laying in bed, this is not me. Okay, I can't stand it. I feel like a prisoner. But at the same time, I don't have a choice. Like, I feel like when your body tells you you have to rest, you have to rest. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not happy about it. But, um, you know, doing what I got to do. So I'm really looking forward to taking you guys somewhere fun. Uh, and by the way, if you happen to see, uh, I, I have to keep uploading shorts. I've missed a couple days. But if you... If you happen to see um, shorts of us out doing stuff, it's not right now. Right now I'm in my bed. <laughs> but I have taken countless footage, as has Lisa and my mother, um, you know, so that we do have footage available so I can create shorts and keep the content going if something were to happen like this. I don't know how much I have, but I know that I have a good bit. So that's always a good thing. And, you know, I just want to keep sharing content with you guys. I love you guys so much. You guys keep me going. So thank you so much for the kind words and for the prayers and the support and your stories. And, you know, it means so much to me. Thank you. Um, I did get a cardiologist appointment as well. That's not for, for three weeks, though. So that'll be after the fun event. So hopefully I'll still be good after the fun event. But um, I, I think so. The good thing is it's, it is... It is a special hotel, um, but also there's an amusement park there. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, but, you know, I'm like, it's okay. There's a hotel. There's a bed. I can relax if I need to. So, which I probably will be doing uh, a good bit of the time. But I'm definitely going to be making a very cool video. And I'm so excited about it. Like, this is something I've been working on, you guys don't understand, for at least five years now. So, it's finally coming to fruition. Like you know, dreams do come true. Like this is really bad timing, but maybe it's the best timing in the world. And you know, this is what's going to kick me over to get better. So I don't know. Please keep me in your prayers. I really appreciate you guys so much. And I'm going to try to do another vlog in the next couple of days. Uh, tomorrow is turds day. So it's possible I might go live. If you guys want me to go live, please leave a comment in the, in the comment section. I don't know how long I'll be live for, you know, I've been pretty weak, but you guys make me strong. So it always helps me to connect with you guys. It really does. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being there. And um, please keep the comments and prayers coming. It really does keep me encouraged to keep going. And, you know, together we're going to beat this.